Hey everyone, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to look at the difference between triathlon bike shoes and regular cycling bike shoes. So these are the Shimano TR5s, I think, and these are my Maverick Cross Rides. They look a bit like trainers. Everyone in my other videos keeps going, why are you wearing trainers? They're not, they're Mavericks. They've got cleats on the bottom, um, but they are lovely shoes. I'm not sure Maverick make them anymore. It's really sad because they're such nice cycling shoes. But so what's the difference between these and the Shimano ones? Well, there's a couple of things that make the tri-shoe tri-specific. So number one, it's got holes in the bottom, so you might be able to see it's a pretty scratched at the bottom. It's got these little grills here, and it's got some holes in the bottom, and that's to allow water to drain out. So you come out to swim, your feet are wet, you put them in the shoes, and all of the water can drain out be these little holes, so you don't end up with water in your shoe. It's quite nice. Uh, number two is that the strap goes the other way. So this is this is the right shoe and this would so that'll go on that side of the bike let's get the one for this side the strap faces away from the bike now this isn't normally the way you would do cycling shoes because then it falls back and then this strap can end up getting caught on the inside so if you look at these mavic ones the strap there goes and then it comes back and you end up with your loose bit over here that means that I can have this nice long strap waggling around and it's fine because it's facing away from the bike. But with a triathlon shoe, I've got a, a whole video on why they do this. Because you run with your shoes attached to your bike, the strap in the open position has to face away to avoid not getting caught in the drive chain. Um, so it faces the opposite way to the way, the way it does on, if I close that up and close that up, you can see this one goes this way, this one goes this way. Um, that's what's going on there. So that's difference number two. Um, some of them are more like designed to be more comfortable to be worn with bare feet because in triathlon you normally don't bother with socks because that takes ages. So you just stick your feet in and they're designed to be quite comfortable. That having said, <laughs> these Mavics are super comfortable as well because they're very trainer-like. So I'd, I'd probably brave these without socks as well, but I know some cycling shoes not super comfortable that socks and so you would normally expect your tri shoe to be a bit more comfortable uh, and then the final difference that tri shoes normally have is they've got this loop on the back um, some shoes have my cycling shoes have my mavics don't i don't think most of them do but triathlon shoes do and again it's to do with transition and speeding things up because as we discussed, you would normally put your shoes on the bike in transition, and then you would run out of transition with your shoes attached to your bike, and then you jump on and start pedaling. Now, the reason they have the loop is because it would just fall down and it would be annoying. So what elite triathletes do is they get a rubber band, hook it round the back wheel, hook it round this loop, and kind of stretch it out so that the shoe stays flat, so that they can push it out of transition, jump on, shoes are already there, easy to get the foot into, and then once they start pedaling, the elastic snaps. So that's why they have the loop on. Uh, if you're not doing that, you probably don't need the loop, but it's nice to have it there if you wanna upgrade to that at some point. So that's those are the main differences between a triathlon shoe and just a regular cycling shoe is that you might have some drainage holes on the bottom, your strap will face away from the bike and you'll have the loop so that you can run with your bike in transition and it might be a bit comfortable, a bit more comfortable to wear without socks as well. Hopefully that was useful. If so, please give this video a thumbs up and if you are interested in triathlon, then hit the subscribe button because that's what my channel is all about and I would love to see you in another video.